looking at COVID now. As case counts drop, doctors are learning more about a syndrome related to the coronavirus. We've told you before about multi-symptom inflammatory syndrome, or MIS. Tonight, Nine on Your Side, Shandria Thomas shows us how it's evolved throughout the pandemic. They do survive with intervention. So, so MISC is probably the most feared complication in pediatrics of the pandemic. Dr. Sean Elliott is a pediatric infectious disease expert at Tucson Medical Center. He says multi-system inflammatory syndrome, or MIS, is continuing to have an impact on kids and adults who were infected with COVID-19. What it is, is the immune system's response in children and some adults, uh, which gets crazy, it goes out of control, triggered by the coronavirus, SARS coronavirus 2, and it starts to attack our own inner organs. There are actually two terms to describe the syndrome. MISC refers to cases in children, and MISA is for adults. Dr. Elliott also says there is some good news. The case numbers are shrinking. MISCs are a very small number, thankfully, of children uh, who have an overwhelming immune reaction to the virus typically occurring after they've gotten better from their COVID-19 uh, and two to six weeks later. Aside from fever, the symptoms include red eyes, diarrhea, dizziness, skin rash, and vomiting. And the symptoms are evolving in the stomach. Now, the biggest appearance of MISC is, is almost like a gastroenteritis, a stomach flu, or in some cases, like an early appendicitis. According to the CDC, you can get MIS from simply being exposed to a person with COVID. It can cause inflammation in the heart, lungs, kidneys, brain, skin, and eyes. The first six or 12 months of the pandemic, MISC in kids looked a lot like a disease called Kawasaki's disease, which uh, is the same concept, but triggered by different viruses, we think. If the children are not recognized, they can do very poorly indeed. In fact, heart failure, multi-organ failure, and there have been deaths. I have personally cared for somewhere between 25 and 30 children with MISC at this hospital alone. While there are still plenty of questions about the full impact of MIS, Dr. Elliott says vaccination is the best way to stay safe. With the number of MISC cases we've seen in the last even two months with the Omicron variant have dropped significantly. So it may be, fingers crossed, that we're seeing a disappearance of this dread complication in kids with MISC just because of the Omicron and because of vaccination. Shandrea Thomas, Kega 9, on your side. Four horses died.